Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome back to another episode of Roto Kaido Ultimate and uh, well, the second episode of the series really and uh, although we are still waiting for an Akata, I thought it would be interesting just to do a sort of challenge someone suggested to me quite a while ago and also talk about some players who could get upgrades in the future. So first of all let me explain the challenge that I'm going to do today. You may notice if you're a regular subscriber that the team looks uh, quite a bit different and that is because uh, a uh, subscriber of mine, Captain Forbes, suggested a challenge where I could only use players beginning with the letters in the word Hokkaido. So I'll put the letters on the top right of the screen and uh, of course that means we can only use players beginning with the letter H, the letter O, the letter K, um, the letter A, the letter I and the letter D I believe. And uh, yeah, so it means uh, it's going to be quite an interesting team in the end. And um, so yeah, let me go through the team and... Yeah, some other stuff as well. So we have returning from past last series, Higashi Gucci, and uh, something about this makes me feel like this challenge is not going to go well. Uh, Higashi Gucci is not the best goalkeeper on this game. He is still a bit broken. Uh, he's he's not good at all on FIFA. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure he's good in real life, but on FIFA he's really not. We have Iwanami from last series was very good. He's a bit worse last year than he this year than he was last year. We have two right backs I've never used before. I've subbed them on a couple of times in. Uh, when I was playing with Silvers to try and do uh, the um, uh, Sun Maximan challenge a while ago, they, they're both all right. Koizumi is a bit bad, but uh, there's not too much you can do. Uh, we have uh, Iriguchi and Oshima at centre the midfield. Um, we have Kagawa, of course. I'll talk more about Kagawa in a bit. Uh, we have uh, Kobayashi, Honda, and Inui to round it off. And uh, yeah, this should be quite a fun challenge. Of course, the attack is basically the same as it always is. No Nakajima though, no Nakata, uh, no Tomiyasu, no Shoji. No, we can't even use Endo. Um, no Nagatomo or Sakai or Uchida, um, and of course no Nakamura either, which means it's going to be quite interesting. So also, let me talk about some players who could be getting informs. Of course. Um, it's been quite a while since there's been an inform since I think Kagawa, so it'd be quite cool if we could, if uh, I could get some informs for this team soon. And here's some players that could get an inform soon. Firstly, of course, I've got Hasabe in the title, I'm sure, uh, and uh, he did perform very, very well in the Europa League. It's just a shame Trap made a penalty save, otherwise he could have got a special card. Definitely, he plays at centre back. He's been playing at centre back for years and years. I'm surprised his card is still CDM. I have no idea why but I'm um, playing at centre-back to kind of represent his real-life playing position and also because I barely had any other centre-backs to fill that space anyway. So, uh, Also, someone surprising who I was not expecting to do anything else this FIFA, uh, Masashi Suzuki, of course, he got relegated uh, from the J-League uh, with Vivara and Nagasaki, but he's moved to, uh, out of all teams, it had to be Hokkaido Konsodali Sapporo, which is the badge that I use. Um, and he's been performing very well there. I believe he scored two goals recently, so we could get an inform for him, which would be very good. And uh, uh, he has good heading accuracy and stuff. Uh, that would be very nice. And yeah, let's play a match. Um, of course, there are some. This is what the bench is looking like. I'm not going to use these players. They're just there because they're in my club, and I couldn't be bothered to buy better players. I'm only going to sub on these four, really. Anyway, we have uh, both Itos, Kanazaki, and Doan there. And yeah, um, yeah, let's go on with the game. I'm going to play online singles again. I know it was a bit of a disaster last time, but there's loads of challenges going on, so it should be some good opposition this time. Right, finally, someone who didn't quit straight away. Right, okay, we are facing off against a Brazilian team there. Some good players. Um, uh, I believe that's Patrick up front playing for a uh, J-League team. Lots of nice players there. Uh, yeah, uh, this person's doing the Talisca um, Carnival Challenge. And uh, yeah, this should be a good test, really. 4-2-4, interesting. Oh no, this this person very good. What was that? But they they may know to test Higashiguchi. Maybe they oh yeah, I forgot to change stadium. This stadium is a very cool looking one. Oh no, I've given it away. You can't do this. You can't do this against these people. And what a save from Higashiguchi! He's pulled himself back. I remember last series he used to pull off some incredible saves. Gotta take it back there, Honda, finesse shot, hits the post, and how did I miss that? Kagawa, you got to score that, open goal miss from Kagawa. Kobayashi. He's, oh, so close, that was a good save from the goalkeeper, I probably should have scored that. Kobayashi, 
Anyway, I was trying to do too much there. It's a, it's a free kick, is it? Yeah, free kick. Oshima's taking it. Um, yeah, I'm, I might not. I might decide to uh, not have that happen. Okay, here we go. This this could go well. I'm going to pass it to Inui, but it gets spotted. But Honda gets the tackle anyway. And Kobayashi. Oh, what a turn! Oh no. <laughs> How was that offside? So here I am at half time. Good first half. Uh, everyone's played well. Uh, Hasabe's done well in defence and stuff. And I really, really wonder what will happen in the next half. It's not like I had recording issues with my microphone or anything and I'm recording this the day after or something. I mean, that would be really, really bad if that did happen. <sighs> Yeah, so as you may have guessed, I did have recording issues, so the whole of the second half uh, I didn't record my voice for some reason. I have no idea why. It's like it's like when you do a question and uh, you have no idea where you went wrong. Like, I have no idea why my microphone just broke midway through my recording. But anyway, so I'll do retrospective commentary from now on, uh, which is not quite as good, but uh, it, it can't be helped really. So in the next half, my opponent came out strongly uh, with some good chances for him. But uh, Higashi Gucci actually did really play well, very well, and he uh, got some really good saves. So um, I might actually start him instead of Nakamura in the future. He might not be glitched uh, this time. And uh, eventually I did manage to score though, so that was very good. Um, and um, he did rage quit at just 1-0 down in the 83rd minute. I mean, it's a bit strange who does that, because, I mean, even against the best player, you still have a chance to, like, score at the last minute. But, uh... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so I guess um, thanks for watching. It's a shame that I uh, had recording issues again. But uh, yeah, uh, leave suggestions for edits to the team. Of course, this isn't my main team anyway. But uh, should I get a uh, question someone asked me was like, should I get one to watch Kago instead of his inform? And I'm unsure about that because his inform does sell for more than his one to watch. And of course, the ones to watch can get upgraded. But uh, his info, his ones to watch, I don't think has the picture. I don't know. Because like his inform has a different picture to his normal card. And uh, I guess it won't cost me too much to buy Kago's next inform anyway. Anyway, uh, I, I, I'll ask. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see what you guys think about that, should I change him or not. And also, uh, who do you think will get an inform in the team anytime soon? Do you think Hasabe will finally get a centre-back card? Or do you think he shouldn't? If he doesn't get one, will that be better? Because then he'll have a chance of getting into a team of uh, community team of the season, which would be very cool. Um, I feel like he'll get into team of the season either way. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you next time.